we are back again and with us now the media figure Saeed Amara, the head of the Egyptian Indonesian Friendship Association, and with us also His Excellency Abdurrahman Fakhir, the Indonesian ambassador in Egypt. Saeed Amara, Egypt was one of the first countries which recognized the independence of Indonesia in 1945. And after two years of independence, there were diplomatic relations between the two countries. But there were also relations between them before independence, and these relations played a very important role in the Indonesian independence. Would you please tell us more about this? Egypt plays great roles. The relations with Indonesia are very old. After World War II in 1945, Abdurrahman Faha Azam, who was the first Arab League Secretary General, received a telegram from the Indonesian rebels. Indonesia was under the occupation of the Netherlands and they tried to destroy the Indonesian identity. This telegram requested the assistance of the Arab world who had just established the Arab League with the membership of seven countries, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Yemen, Syria, Lebanon and East Jordan. The number of the Indonesian population at that time was only 7 million. The Arab League at the time consisted of two rooms. The first one was where Abdurrahman Pasha Zam lived and the other was one for his assistants. If we go back to the message, the content was very important. It requested aid and assistance from the Egyptian leaders to the Indonesian rebels. At that time, Egypt was under King Farouk's rule and the Prime Minister was in Nukrashi Pasha. The message was carried to King Farouk and at that time he wanted to be the first Muslim leader and the Khalifa for Muslims. It was then agreed that Egypt will help the rebels, but how could this be done? And Abdurrahman Pasha Hazem is a friend to Ambassador Mohammed Abdel Menem in Mumbai. Hazem Pasha recalled Ambassador Abdel Menem to Egypt and Hazem requested from him to go to the rebels in Indonesia. The plan was to send the diplomatic bags from Egypt to Indonesia on an Indian plane, but of course weapons will be sent with these bags on the same plane. The Arab ambassadors agreed on this and they agreed to finance the operation. Ambassador Mohammed Abdel Menam did it and took the bags to Indonesia. This operation was a real adventure. And to continue this story, we went to Alexandria to meet the the wife of Ambassador Mohammed Abdel Menem. She told us that before the operation started, a life insurance document worth 5,000 pounds was done for Ambassador Mohammed Abdel Menem, and he returned safely after they said that he was traveling on a hunting trip in Malayo Islands while he was really in Indonesia. This story is known to all Indonesians and they know that their rebels had requested from Abdurrahman Pasha Azam to present their cause to the United Nations despite that Egypt had another issue presented to the United Nations at that time. When I traveled to Indonesia, I found one of the biggest streets there named after Abdurrahman Pasha Azam. Egypt always played a great role, and one of these roles is that it did not want Britain to help Holland against the Indonesians. This was the role of Abdurrahman Pasha Azam. Some Egyptians helped him in the Indonesian independence, which was acquired in 1945. After independence, the Arab League recognized Indonesia as an independent state and I hope that all the youth who did not read the history of Egypt know quite well that the Egyptian role was not limited only to independence, but it was a real support and aid to the rebels there until independence. داكوتا صغيرة من بومبي ويطلع واحد مغامر معاه وتطلع النهاردة الحقائب الدبلوماسية من مصر فيها الأسلحة وكان الم... كان ذلك تم بموافقة السفراء العرب في جامعة الدول العربية ومصر كان عليها السلاح والدول العربية عليها النهاردة تدفع أجرة المسائل دي كلها Mr. Said, you are the chairman of the Egyptian-Indonesian Friendship Association 
Can you please tell us about the role of the association in Egypt and its activities? The Egyptian-Indonesian Friendship Association is one of the oldest friendship associations that was established in Egypt. It was established in 1973 by Major General Saad al-Din al-Sharif, the head of the presidential secretaries. With him also was Ambassador Mahmoud Fawzi and Ambassador Ali Fahmi. I became the chairman of the association in 1989. The role played by the association is very important. It introduces Egypt to Indonesia and vice versa. It acts as a connection point in the fields of business, culture, trade and knowledge. Conferences and seminars are always held to discuss these issues. We used to meet with Al-Azhar students and the largest educational mission in Al-Azhar is from Indonesia and also most of the Muslim sheikhs in Indonesia are graduates from Al-Azhar. We are now calling for increasing tourism between the two countries through direct flights. Businessmen now play a big role in trade and boosting bilateral ties and cooperation. We are also now preparing a book about the long relations between the two countries in the fields of history, science and culture. المسلمين واللي هم لهم دور كبير سواء كان في الأحزاب أو في الجامعات خريجي جامعة الأزهر